Hey guys, my jam. So, December 27th, 7 o'clock. So, I've been up for 6 hours. And I am really tired out, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So tired out. <clears throat> I think from yesterday, too. So, um, I didn't get around to finish doing the cake. I didn't want to start it. <laughs> Because I was just too tired, so I ended up making the Nuki dish that I started on yesterday that I didn't get to finish. So that's not too bad because I just had to cook it. So that's what I'm going to have for uh, lunch, I guess. It's a late lunch. Yeah, so I was gonna took a shower, but I'm too tired. I'm just going to eat and go back to bed. So I know I'll fall asleep in the shower if I do that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is the Inuki dish was on top of the rice, which I just got to stick in the microwave. And it's like my favorite, one of my favorite tofu dishes right now. I always talk about it. But I forget who it's by. <laughs> and... This here is the Nuki dish, tofu and Nuki dish. And then that way I get more containers as well if I just, because everything's separated in containers. So it smells so good. And I've been eating Rice Krispie squares. It kind of helps me stay up, but not really. <clears throat> so I put the stuff in the fridge. I have no idea when I'll get the chance to clean out the fridge. I don't think it's going to happen any by the end of the year. <laughs> but this is the whipped icing that I made earlier. Which isn't really that thick. But <clears throat> I think it's because I waited a day. Uh, that's why it's not that thick. But it might thicken up like over time. So this is the stuff that goes in the middle of the cake. The vegan cake. So at least I made that. That's why I cut up the Oreos for and then I put the other Oreos in the fridge. Just so bugs don't come at it. So at least that's done. <laughs> one step, one thing at a time. That's really all I could do. That's why I have the tofu and nookie dish. Um, I made that yesterday, but I did, can't cook it because I was too tired. So, I was like, uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> but now I cooked it, so now I could have that on the side with my sandwich. So I got my tofu sandwich here again. I'm like so addicted to these. <laughs> you know, I've been eating like one or two of them a day. Which is good because there's cucumbers and carrots and tofu is good for you. I'm going to add the vegan cream cheese underneath. And then I did a lot of cleaning, so at least that's good. So I didn't even start um, putting together <laughs> the cake stuff. I just did the icing, the middle part. And hopefully later I'll get up and then I can do it. So if you guys have conditions like me and you can't, and you want to cook and you want to bake and you can't, just do what I do, do step by step. Do like what you have to do overnight, the night before, and then continue on. Because literally that's the only way that I could cook. <laughs> As you guys have seen. Because people are like, oh, you cook so much so you can't be sick. A lot of the stuff that I cook takes me like days just to finish. So people don't realize that. 
so I have to keep reminding them. This took me, I mean, the sandwich, it took me, uh, two, three hours to do yesterday. But it's because I really wanted it, so I had to finish it. <laughs> but I had to take a lot of breaks, too, in between. And I prepped stuff, like, the day before for a lot of stuff. So if you want to um, start cooking for yourself and you can't because you have conditions, that's what I highly suggest, is to just do parts. And so like for me, I started baking the cake, but I just did the middle part for the icing. And then I cut up all the Oreos so they're on the side. And then all I have to do next is just put mix everything together. And then bake it so if you have to do it in steps do it in steps it's literally the best way don't pressure yourself like i said you don't want to turn an oven on and you're so tired that you're going to burn a place down <laughs> but like if you're like me and you're poor and you want all these things to eat but you can't afford it so you got to make it yourself you have to do it in steps That's why I go, even though I made this dish yesterday, <clears throat> it still took me three hours just to make a dish. Uh, dish that usually only takes 20 minutes for most people, because I have to take a lot of breaks. Otherwise, I fall asleep, <laughs> which I'm doing now. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if I have more coffee and if I have, like, energy stuff, it's not going to help me stay awake. You just need rest. So, there's my sandwich. That's what I'm going to eat with my enoki dish that's uh, in the microwave. But I love the sandwich. It's so good. So, so good. Like I keep saying, I've been wanting Subway lately, but I can't afford it. So, I've been making my own sandwiches. But <clears throat> it takes me a while to do everything. The cucumber I got for free. Mm -hmm. But, I was like, I gotta... I gotta cook, uh, clean rather than bake, because if I want to keep cooking and cleaning, I need dishes. <laughs> I need dishes. So that's my advice for today. If you have to, do it in steps. Don't rush yourself. It's better this way. Like I said, I really want Oreo cake, but at the same time, I don't want to burn down my place. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go to eat the leftovers and go to sleep, and then when I get up again, I'll just continue on making it. that beef and broccoli dish too but just to like cut up the broccoli and soak the mushrooms I just haven't had the energy so I'm always craving different foods but that's why I'm like I'm glad I got the sandwich at least <laughs> and I have a bite now actually I toast it in the oven mmm heaven so as much as hard as it is having conditions and stuff, small simple things like this, like a really good sandwich that you made yourself, it just makes you remember what why you're supposed to be here and why you're why you're living. I don't I don't want to give up food. <laughs> I mean, if I'm just alive to make myself a sandwich, 
it's totally worth it. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I love food. <laughs> Vegan food anyways. And then I can finally watch the Twilight Zone and eat and then go back to bed. Sleep is another thing. Like, I'm so glad I could sleep when I have to sleep. I could eat when I have to eat. Some people can't. But the sandwich is definitely worth living for. <laughs> We did do a lot of dishes, so. Dishes done. So it's like, I could either bake the cake or do the dishes. I'm like, I need dishes more than I need the cake. <laughs> Cause I still have cupcakes in the fridge, so. But at least now the Oreos are in the icing. And then the Oreos are in the fridge chopped up. So now I won't eat them when I'm craving them in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I did it. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to eat all the Oreos. Eventually, we'll get around to making the beef, vegan beef broccoli dish and the spring rolls and all the other dishes I want. This is what I love about being vegan is that <clears throat> there's so many different dishes that I love that I have to constantly keep making them because I'm craving them so much. Because they're so good. They're so damn good. They're speckles. <laughs> He's still hanging in there. It's my goats. See, I could pick him up with one hand. <laughs> Can't do that before, but you still stink. Later, I'm gonna have to give him shampoo. But he's still hanging in there. So is Josephine. That's why when he comes out, I show you guys, because he doesn't really come out that often. He's been hiding all day. You should come sleep on the bed. <laughs> I used to give him a piece of bread, but he doesn't eat it anymore. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> but I'm probably just going to take a nap, because... I really do want to take the cats out because I haven't been lately. And I think that helps speckles. I think that's kind of another reason why I've been so tired lately is because it's very emotional knowing that you have, you have a cat that's dying and you can't really do anything about it except for be there for him or her. Hey, speckles. <laughs> but he's not dead yet. But you can tell he's totally not the same cat. He's like very tired and he just wants cuddles. <laughs> and speckles, you just want cuddles. Yeah, so I'm gonna get going because I'm getting tired, so Hopefully speckles will come sleep. But uh yeah, so just remember if you guys want to start cooking for yourself and you can't 
just do like I do, just do step by step by step, and don't push yourself, you could always finish it off tomorrow, and then when you have it done, you feel so proud of yourself, because you made your own food. But I'm so tired now, so I'm going to go to sleep, eat and go to sleep. So I'll talk to you guys later here on Phantom Stories. Mm -hmm. Talk to you later.